for a dream movie review. Four people in New York, only one of whom actually has an accent, all struggle with addiction. That is basically what's going on here. To delve slightly more into it, the one who has character development is the mother of one of the others and she's lonely. She doesn't have her husband died. She doesn't have a lot to hope for. This film has been called quite manipulative and I'm not sure one can really claim that it isn't. But whenever something is manipulative, I think it's vital to look at what it is trying to make us think or feel, or rather, why. And the way I read this is, you know, a possible indictment of the war on drugs, and just the message that anyone can become addicted, you know. And I don't have that big of a problem with, you know, someone manipulating others into, you know, whenever there's manipulation going on, I say, you know, stop and actually ponder. Don't just take it at face value, but whatever. The film has a very distinct visual style, or perhaps really a number of them. In general, Aronofsky has this thing of just, you know, having fun with what he can do with the camera. This uses pretty much every different technique of filming and many of the editing techniques as well. That sounds bombastic, and perhaps it is, but I think it's also worth noting that it actually does work pretty well. The film is paced well. It is only about 95 minutes, and it takes you across uh, about three quarters of a year, and you feel like you're watching that much time pass before you, and it's a bit straining. It's a brutal film to watch. But at the end of it, you don't feel like, you know, you've wasted time or like it dragged or anything. The acting is pretty good, which is a surprise because, you know, one of the Wayans brothers has one of the leads, but he actually does do pretty well. The characters are pretty credible and there are attempts at you know, motivation behind them, but I think one problem with the film is that only the mother character, Sarah, actually... That's the only one where we actually see how the addiction began. And with some of the others, it's not entirely clear why they are addicted. Because they don't really seem like they should be in that situation necessarily. All in all, I definitely say to watch it at least once if you think you can handle it, and that's not at all an insult because not everyone will be able to.